17 week pregnancy update. The last update in the teens, I cannot believe that next week I will be halfway through pregnancy. Time is going so fast. I've heard so many people say, oh, you feel, you're gonna feel like you're pregnant forever, you're gonna want the baby to come, but as of right now, my pregnancy is going so fast and I'm almost like, no, I'm not ready yet. I mean, I know I still have another 20 weeks or so to go, but it's just going really fast and it's stressing me out. So this week, baby is the size of a tomato. Um, baby's legs have finally grown and they are um, the right size now. If baby is growing hair, I know some babies have a lot of hair, some have some hair, and some don't grow any hair. But if it is growing hair, then the hair is starting to grow this week. And then also I was reading that this week um, something called Vernix starts developing all over the baby's skin and it basically just protects the baby from being in you know fluid 24 7 so that when baby's born it doesn't come out looking like a prune like it's been soaked in water for you know eight months nine months so that was really interesting they also said that usually the vernix will um you know go away and disappear by the time the baby's born but some babies are still born um, with some of it on especially if they're born prematurely so i guess we'll see if there's any still on my baby when my baby is born so those are um, new things this week. Um, symptoms this week, uh, I'm feeling great. Uh, just like last week, um, I don't have any nausea. Heartburn, I may have it maybe once or twice a week and that's it. Acne, I really don't have that too bad, um, not the past couple of weeks. My energy is back up. Um, this past weekend, Anthony and I were out in our yard doing yard work for maybe four or five hours and I felt great. Um, I'm staying up later, I don't have to go to bed as early. Um, although some nights I do wanna go to bed early and um, kind of the new symptom of this week is I kind of have um, somewhat of pregnancy insomnia, which is like I, every morning now I wake up at around like 6 a.m and I can't go back to sleep. I don't know why I'm woken up at 6 a.m. Um, sometimes it's to go to the bathroom, but other times I just end up staring at my ceiling. And then for the life of me, I cannot go back to sleep. And I think it's just because my mind is just constantly going and I just can't shut it off to go to sleep. So that's been super frustrating to deal with. And so it does make me kind of tired at night. Um, but other than that, it's not too bad. I don't really have problems falling asleep at night. I still use my pregnancy pillow and it works great. Um, but I don't know, sometimes I just wake up in the middle of the night and I just cannot go back to sleep. So that's kind of been the big thing that's been happening this week. Um, I was reading on my app, um, cause it'll say like common symptoms for you to experience this week. And one of them was fainting, um, or dizziness. And I haven't felt any of that at all. Um, I'll let you guys know if that happens at all, but I have not experienced that. Um, I don't usually get faint or dizzy at all. Sometimes I'll get them in very random um, occurrences, but other than that, uh, I really don't ever experience fainting, so nothing like that. I continue to feel baby uh, move inside of me and kick. Um, it's really, really exciting. I definitely know it's baby now and not like gas or anything. As the days go on, um, baby's kicks and movements are getting um, sharper and more forceful, so I really feel them. Um, I got really excited because just last night, Anthony and I were cuddling together and I put his hand on my belly and it took a while, but finally he was able to feel baby move. So I'm sure as time moves on, you know, he'll just, it'll become, you know, more and more and uh, sharper. So I know a lot of my family wants to feel it and I was really excited that Anthony got to experience and I want him to keep experiencing that. 
So that's really exciting. It does feel really weird to have the baby uh, moving inside of me and I can feel it. Like I said last week, it really just feels, for me, it really just feels like there's somebody um, poking you in your stuff, like from the inside. Um, so it's really funny, but um, it's great and I feel like I don't have to rely on the heart Doppler as much um, because I can feel it move so it must still be alive. Um, I still do use my heart Doppler. I'll listen to the baby's heartbeat about once a week just to calm my nerves but um, with this movement it has definitely helped keep me uh, positive and in a happy mood. My belly continues to grow. I will um, show you guys a little belly shot later in this vlog. Um, but like I was saying last week, I just feel like my belly looks hairier, it's bigger, and my belly button is definitely bigger as well. Um, my boobs have been growing still. I am getting towards the end of my um, ability to wear regular clothes, um, especially pants. There's one jean that I have, one pair of jeans that I have, that... I can fit in still and I still need a belt but all my other pairs um, it's not working out and it, they are getting very very tight so I think it is only a matter of time before I move on to maternity clothes. A lot of my night shirts that are like small t-shirts are starting to get very tight on me and uncomfortable and so I've been wearing more and more baggy um, shirts. I think I'm going to go shopping maybe um, soon and get some maternity shirts. I don't want to buy too many because um, I'm only going to be pregnant for a little while and then I won't have any use for them so I don't want to waste money but I definitely need some clothes to wear. <laughs> I don't feel like my hands or feet have been swelling at all. Um, cravings. I really was craving chocolate chip cookies the other day and so I made some. Um, but other than that, I really haven't been craving anything. The other day I really wanted some ice cream, but it wasn't like, oh my gosh, I have to have this or I'm going to die. Um, so nothing too bad. And then food diversions, they're still the same. So nothing new with that. I have noticed in my pregnancy that my nose has been really itchy and I'm not sure if that's a pregnancy symptom or just something up with my nose, but I feel like in watching past vlogs and editing and things, um, I tend to scratch my nose a lot and I don't really realize that I'm doing it until I've been seeing it while I've been editing. So I thought that was kind of a weird symptom. Not sure if it's pregnancy related or not, but I thought I would include it in here. Weight wise, last time I weighed myself, which was yesterday, I believe, I am up two pounds. So it's good. I gained two pounds, but I think that's the same as last week. So I really need to start gaining some weight. I'm worried that I'm not gaining enough and that, you know, I'm definitely eating a ton, but it's like it's not staying on. <laughs> so I'm hoping baby is getting everything that they need. So this week, um, the really exciting thing that happened this week was we went and had an elective ultrasound done. And um, we went to this place that does 3D and 4D ultrasounds. Um, and I believe you can get them done as early as 14 weeks. And a lot of people go and do these to find out gender or they just want to get early pictures of their baby. As I was saying, I think I said this last week, we just decided to do this because Anthony is not able to make it to my anatomy appointment, which is next week in my 20 weeks. And I wanted him to be able to experience um, you know, looking at baby and seeing it and not just thinking of it as a blob like we had in our eight week um, ultrasound and this was also an opportunity for a lot of my family to come into town and see the baby as well. Um, so I was kind of nervous at first going into it. Obviously I've never had this done before and I was worried, you know, that it wasn't going to be worth it, especially with everybody coming. You know, my sister came from Cincinnati. so. I was a little worried that it wasn't going to be worth it, but it definitely was worth it. It was so much fun. It was amazing just being able to see the baby move on the ultrasound inside of me because, yes, I do feel jabs and kicks here and there, but I don't get this, you know, I don't feel like fluid moment movements and baby was, you know, moving its arms and moving its head back and forth and it was so cool to see. 
So I have some pictures um, that I'll show you guys. So one of the really cool things that we were, saw during the ultrasound is we actually saw a baby um, sucking their thumb. Um, so here's a picture of that. Um, and the ultrasound tech girl was really nice and she, you can see where her, um, where her cursor is right here. That's, that's the hand. And then obviously this is the skull and the mouth is right here. So you can see it's sucking its thumb right there. I just thought that was so cute. It was so cute to see. It was kind of weird to see because we were seeing the skull and like the eyes and everything. And obviously like these were just 2D images. So you didn't see like skin or anything. So that was kind of weird to see, but it was so cute to see. Like it's so crazy to think that, you know, in the womb, babies are sucking their thumbs. It was so sweet. Another 2D image that they got is an image of baby's foot. That's so cute. They also got an image of baby's spine. You can see like right here, this is the spine of the baby. And then um, right here is them taking um, baby's heartbeat. So baby's heartbeat at this appointment was um, 148. Uh, the first time we did the heartbeat was 165. And then the second time I believe it was 150. This one was at 148. So it keeps going down. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Um, but that was really cool to see. And then these here are our um, 3D, 4D pictures. So I'll just... Um, I'll probably just input them right here into the vlog so that you guys can see them um, close up instead of me like trying to wave it in front of the in front of my camera. So enjoy some of these pictures that we have from the ultrasound. pictures are really really cool um you can totally like make out baby um it does look really really skinny like it needs some meat on its bones but i know it's still growing um it's so cute to see like oh my gosh there's really a thing inside of me it's a baby it's not a blob um it's got fingers and toes and eyes and a nose and oh my gosh it's it was so cool to see. Anthony thought it was really cool too. So um, yeah, we got, we, I'm, I'm looking at the pictures right now. Um, my family really liked um, the picture of the baby with the um, arm in front of its face. Um, they thought that was so cute. It's kind of like the baby was saying, no pictures, please. Like, gosh, mom, I live such a hard life. Like, stop bothering me. So baby was being a little um, stubborn. It was laying um, on its stomach. And so we could only see like half of its face. Um, but we got it to move around a little bit. So that was really fun. The biggest um, thing that happened at this ultrasound is the gender. So like I said in my previous vlogs, I didn't find out the gender. The only two people right now that know the gender is Anthony and my mom. Um, and so she had us close our eyes and she found the gender. And um, then at the end of the ultrasound, we all left the room except for Anthony and my mom. And she printed out two more pictures um, for Anthony to have that show the gender. And she was able to tell them like, you're having a boy or girl. It's still another two weeks, a little less than two weeks until I and everyone else finds out what the gender is. Um, but I've been having fun uh, teasing Anthony a little bit and my mom and trying to get them to spill the beans to me. Um, I really wish I knew what the gender was, but I'm excited to be surprised during the gender reveal party. Um, I really want to know what it is and I just I can't wait to know. I just want to know what the gender of the baby is. So it's really cool. Anthony knows. Um, 
he really liked the appointment and of course he really likes that he knows what the gender is and so I told him good now you know the gender so now you can go buy things and make the nursery and do all the work and he was like haha no <laughs> so I guess it's gonna be a couple more weeks for that but um, we're getting somewhere um, my mom she started crying when she heard what the gender was so I mean that's just who my mom is and then um, the next day she sent me a snap of her going into baby's arrest to go buy things already so she's going crazy I know as soon as I know the gender gender I'm gonna go crazy I just can't wait to see what we're having a boy or a girl I really want to know just so we can start planning people are wondering like what's the theme of your nursery what colors are you gonna do the walls what you know what uh, color furniture are you gonna get and I'm like I don't know because I don't know what we're having so soon enough we will know the whole world will know I'm sure I will include a video of it on YouTube for you all to see I just cannot wait to see um, what we're having and I'm hoping that will help me bond a little bit more to this baby I, even though we had that 3d 4, 4d ultrasound it's still like I feel like hasn't sunken in that I am pregnant and I have a baby inside of me even yeah like I said even seeing the pictures um, it just hasn't hit me and so I'm thinking you know maybe once I know it's a boy or a girl then I can start referring to him or her instead of it and maybe grow you know more of a bond with the baby so I'm hoping that ha that will happen I like since I found out I was pregnant I think this whole time I've only um, had one or two dreams of the baby so I'm hoping once I know the gender I'll have more dreams and just be able to plan more so totally worth it I would definitely suggest going if you guys are on the fence about it a 3d 4d ultrasound it was great it was a little expensive um, but that didn't bother me I got tons of pictures um, they gave me tons of uh, two CDs of video footage of the baby um, but I'm not allowed to watch it until the gender reveal because it has video of the gender in the CDs so as soon as we got home I gave Anthony the CDs and he had the two pictures of the baby's gender and I told him you better go and hide these somewhere in our house until it's time for the gender reveal because if I know where they are I'm gonna be tempted and I'm probably gonna give in and find out this gender so he went and hid them they're somewhere in this house I don't know where I don't want to know where I really want it to be a surprise even though you know I joke and kid like oh I wish I knew I want to know and I try to trick Anthony like are we gonna you know is he gonna be so cute or is she gonna be so cute you know I just do it for fun I really am ex I'm uh, happy with my decision to wait until um, the party and you know be surprised and I just can't wait to know what we're having Ugh. baby Denzel it's this baby is so loved already and I just cannot wait to see what our firstborn's going to be. I mean, I'll, I would be happy with either one. I still, even after looking at the pictures, I still think it's a boy. Um, Anthony was thinking girl all the way up until the ultrasound. One of us was right. Uh, either he was or I was. I won't know till the gender reveal. Um, but either way, I'll be happy with the gender. This will not be our last baby, so... I'm sure there will be plenty more opportunities to have uh, the other gender later on, so I cannot wait. I just, I, I don't, I don't know if you guys know, but I'm just so excited <laughs> if that isn't conveyed enough. So let me show you guys my 19 week um, bump. So here is my um, tummy from the side. Here is it from the front and then from the other side. So getting wider um, I don't think I've noticed like it being like that much wider this week um, but last week I noticed a big difference and this week it is still getting really really big um, which makes sense because I'm about halfway through pregnancy so I would hope that I would have a bump here um, but yep here it is so um, I think that about wraps it up for week 19. Oh, another update is we um, have cleared out our guest room because that's what we're going to make into the nursery. 
So we have moved the uh, guest bed into the bigger bedroom where my sister was staying when she uh, lived with us for a couple months. And so the baby's room is empty and ready to be painted and have furniture and all that. Um, we are planning on hopefully starting our registry. We're going to make one at Babies R Us um, uh, the same weekend as the gender reveal. Again, the gender reveal is going to be the day after Thanksgiving. And so I'm thinking either Saturday or Sunday um, in that weekend we'll go and create the registry. Anthony wants to be there. My mom wants to be there. Obviously, I want to be there. So I'm really excited to go and put some things on our registry. That is all for this week. Um, I hope you enjoyed looking at uh, pictures of baby Denzel. Let me know in the comments down below what gender you think the ultrasound looks like. Um, I know there's some people who do skull theory and different things like that, depending on how the skull looks, depending or like tells you what the gender is. I don't know. I can't do any of that, but I'd love to hear your guesses. Um, we'll know it in about two weeks. Stay tuned for next week. I go to my 20 week ultrasound. We're going to have the anatomy appointment. I'm super excited for that. So stay tuned. I'm sure I'll have probably more pictures of baby and, um, more news on just how everything's going. I'm a little nervous for that appointment just because they are doing measurements to see if baby is growing on track. So I'm hoping that everything is measuring normal um, and I'll definitely let you guys know. So stay tuned. Bye guys.